Hello friends, it's Jane and it's time for a new video. This week it was nearly impossible for me to finish this video with both my kids being sick and sadly not even simultaneously. So the hours of providing care for them disabled my work habits, but it's fine. Everything has its own time. And this video especially because it's so hard to mention circumstances of this painting's creation that inevitably changed my entire approach halfway through the process. I will be talking about the technique too and yes art supplies because that's what we do on this channel but can't just avoid everything that associates with this painting for me and forever will let's just cut to the chase and i'm not very skilled at expressing myself through the words but thanks to this youtube channel i'm learning a lot so let's give it a go this painting started as a regular watercolor sketch or a watercolor exploration as i like to call them because that's closest expression to what i do here trying to experiment with different approaches color combinations, compositions, and so on. Even though I started to sketch and paint around 23rd of February, there was almost a spring weather outside. It was a sunny afternoon and the air smelled so nice. I love this season the most because it feels like new life and it just gives me the new energy after those grey winter days. And this is important because the mood of that day I tried to capture in this painting actually. I was even singing and almost dancing in the studio. It was such a good mood. I grabbed my box of My Mary Blue watercolors and made a color plan for this painting that was full of warmth and bright and saturated colors. I sketched a few floral elements around the girl's figure and tried to capture that emotion in my sketch. I wanted to make it a habit to try and write down a few words to embody my purpose for a painting. Those of you that watch my videos regularly surely caught that my goal for this year is to progress, start being conscious about the choices that I make throughout the process and writing down a few words seemed like a great way to reinforce this. And so I wrote feels like spring breeze on the left side of my sketchbook. I didn't finish the painting that day, I had to run home and it was a lot of work. Besides applying masking fluid to my paintings expands the time I need to finish anything and I simply can't make a finished piece within that three hour window of time that I have for painting each day. But the next day world changed. I'm used to waking up at night because of the baby and sometimes while I wait for the milk to warm I open news on my phone and read articles and so I saw that war began in the neighboring country. I couldn't sleep since very much, that week not at all, the stress in my country was so very high and that's despite of nobody yet attacking Slovakia. People got used to existing in crisis because of the pandemic when nothing felt certain for two years but this is a whole another level of uncertainty and I have to say we have so many Ukrainians living and working in Slovakia they are good people neighbors to us so this is a very emotional topic I do not want or intend my YouTube channel becoming a place where I dump my emotions and express my political views on and so on because this is a place for my work and your learning but in this case I have to link straight strong emotions caused by strong events because this artwork would turn out completely different if there was just the sunshine outside my studio window. And artists have slightly different work than other people in this one aspect where your personality and events of your life become more integral part of the result and process, whilst in many other professions it might not matter as much what kind of human being you are, the processes are prescribed and the result is measured by a standard that has nothing to do with how you feel. I might be very inaccurate in this thought. There are many jobs out there that I have no idea about, so please just take me with a grain of salt. I was just so emotional when finishing this painting. I cried for hours those days and had tears dripping into the washes of dark paint. I have no idea if you can tell when looking at this piece, but I had no intentions to cover up so much of the beautiful warm textures of the first layer and yet I kept layering dark paint until I reached a point 
when the paper wouldn't handle any more paint. Some warmth will be always showing through all the darkness forever and that will symbolize hope. I used colors from the Ukrainian flag at the bottom of the painting. imagine how I'm going to go about talking about this because it's such a heavy topic and I do not avoid heavy topics anymore but there is time and place for those discussions and besides talk is cheap and my tears don't mean anything until I do something to help. We have already sent a package with food, toys and kids clothing for Ukrainian women and children that currently seek refuge in Slovakia and more of that is needed every day as new people are arrive. We are not the only ones, like every family that I know in our neighborhood try to help in some way. I'm currently working on making this painting into a print series and then earnings from selling those will go straight to the humanitarian organization in Slovakia that provide housing and food for them. We are all starting to realize that we need to live a different life now and even though the work seems to be running as usual, it does not feel the same. There is a large crisis going on and it won't just pass me by, I have to make it part of my life to participate in solution. Alright, so let's talk about the watercolor goodies now. I didn't want to focus much on the paints in this video for obvious reasons and so I will review these My Mary blue paints for some other time. I'm going to use them in my next painting process too, so I guess that's a better time to mention their quality. But just a quick overview, they are really beautiful paints and I enjoy working with them these days a lot. I also loved painting with the Princeton Velvet Touch brushes that I was also sent because they are great for a negative painting technique when you want to be precise and cutting out these botanical shapes on a smaller sized paper would be very uncomfortable without a strong tip of your brush. And a word on this masking fluid, in one of the latest videos, oh it was the stylized portrait video, I will link it down below, I used the blue schminky masking fluid that I didn't like so much, it was hard to put on because of a thick consistency and even harder to remove, if I wasn't working on arches I probably would have ripped the paper. And so this one is also by Schminky, but it's a transparent masking fluid and the experience with using it was very, very different. The consistency was thinner, but these things are so hard to judge because the thickness might be sometimes caused by how it's stored. And I'm judging that by always having no less than 15 bottles of masking fluid in my studio because people use them during workshops. When I was closed and couldn't run live workshops for 11 months, most of the masking fluid got insanely thick while not being used or manipulated with. And yes, they were closed properly. I always take care of my arts supplies as best as I can. This one really was easy to apply and once it dried the transparent film allowed me to see the actual color underneath which is quite important when you apply the masking fluid over already painted watercolor. Also the paper in my Strathmore sketchbook is pulp made and those two factors like painting over a wash of paint and using a pulp paper would make it highly likely that the masking fluid will rip the paper while removing but no it was slightly patchy in some areas as if the masking fluid when it was wet reactivated some of the paint from the first layer but other than that no damage whatsoever I was surprised same brand same kind of masking fluid just different color and this made me wonder if this particular material as in masking fluids is really so changeable that you can't even properly recommend a brand because a specific bottle that you get might be influenced by storage or so and just perform differently. And this brought me to the very end of my video about this flowery piece that combines all my emotions associated with recent events in Europe but also with hope and I was just so glad to see the support for this piece
recipes on Instagram as well. Once I have my prints ready, I will link them down below either as a pinned comment or will make a community post about where you also can purchase them, no matter where you are in the world, I can ship internationally. I would also love to know your point of view on how your own emotions, views and life events can influence your art and creative process. If you feel up for sharing that in the comments, of course. And I will see you again soon, hopefully. Bye.